Testosterone makes you attractive, ambitious, competitive, confident, protective, and a host of other superpowers. Welcome to this channel. My name is Warren Taffa, an innovator of essence and style. Guys, in today's video, we're talking about something that every conscious man needs to know. So go ahead and subscribe and drop a like down below. Guys, over here, we talk about identity over trend, quality over quantity, being a confident and assertive man. Even though people generally know the effects of testosterone, it's not discussed much outside of biology class. As of recent, testosterone rates have been dropping drastically. The average testosterone levels of an 18 year old young man today is equivalent to testosterone levels of a 70 year old man in, in the early 2000s. You can always get your testosterone tested by going to the doctor or using online platforms like Everly. Results below 400 are bad. 400 to 800 is average and 800 plus is good. Now let's talk about the seven ways that you can boost your testosterone. These are natural things that you can do. The first thing is to make sure do not go on a low fat diet. Why? Because cholesterol is the precursor, the building block that helps make testosterone. Statins block cholesterol and that causes testosterone to be lowered. And that is one of the big challenges. So if you're on a statin, get with your doctor, find out the real reason why your cholesterol might be high. Instead of just treating the symptom, let's find out what the actual cause is. Let's talk about protein. A myth is that you need a lot of protein to stimulate your testosterone. No, you need a moderate amount. Now what's a moderate amount? Well, I'd say about six to eight ounces per meal. You want to avoid too much protein because your body takes a lot of energy to turn the protein into glucose, and it most likely won't turn all of it. It will turn half of it. Number three, you want to go low carbs for the same reason because carbs increase insulin. So if you keep your insulin low, you enhance your testosterone. Number four, exercise, but not just any exercise, but leg workouts. Working your legs boosts testosterone more than any body part. That's because your legs belong to a large muscle group. You do low carb, it's called keto. And so intermittent fasting is vital to keep your testosterone levels normal because if you're doing snacks and frequent meals, you're just going to increase insulin and suppress testosterone. That is why a pre-diabetic or someone with insulin resistance normally has low testosterone. And that's gonna affect your muscle mass and eventually your libido and your energy. Sleep. I struggle with this because I'm always working, but I notice the difference. It is very important because you also want to keep your cortisol levels low. You also want to keep the estrogen on the low side. So you want to avoid soy products, especially soy protein isolates, which is in a lot of your diet foods, like a uh, fake meat. Also, you want to avoid things that increase estrogen. For instance, pesticides, insecticides, they all act like estrogen in your body. They're basically called estrogen mimickers, endocrine disruptors. There are certain supplements that can also help you as well. The aspartic acid, the most important one is zinc. Another good one that I recommend is the Korean red ginseng. This not only improves your testosterone, but it's going to improve your energy. It's gonna give you a sense of calmness. It will give you stamina. It will give you vitality. It's a really good herb. It's been used for a very long time with great success. Disclaimer, this may not work if your diet isn't corrected. Staying consistent in adopting these lifestyle tips will do the trick, especially if you are a young man. 